Welcome back to another video with AVA Direct and we have copper system number two over here. system actually has a twin and if you want to check that out it's up here we had a customer reach out to us after watching the uh last copper system rigs and they actually wanted an exact duplicate so salesperson reached out to the original customer was like hey we got a customer who wants to duplicate you cool with it he was cool with it so now we have system number two and actually if you want it we also have a configurator for it or any other copper system we started off using uh, a standard center grit sandpaper uh, to clean it up, then dropped down to a 2000 and then finished them on a buffering wheel. We used uh, a clear coat on it to make sure that it wouldn't tarnish or patina or anything to keep it shine. Which we actually can patina it too if that's something you're into. What's your preference? Do you like hard line, soft line or copper? I like working with copper. I feel like it's more forgiving the actual bends and stuff like that. Cause once you're brazing and soldering the pipe, it's, you know, it's there. It's just 90 fittings, 45 fittings. I actually agree with that. I found that once you get it cut to shape, it just fits right in. It's, you get more of that perfect angle. Whereas with the bending the tubes, you kind of have to finagle it a little bit sometimes. Especially when you're trying to do like compound bends yeah. where it's like two nineties right next to each other. I like the copper look. I think it's interesting. I'm a huge fan. I actually like uh, how polished up it is this time around too. I feel like my iteration first time was a little more of a brushed look. Oh, which I like better. I like the brush look better, yeah. personally. I don't mind the, the shiny look. I feel like it reflects the fans better, but I liked the, the kind of the matte brushed look of the previous system. I think for a system like this with the uh, diamond accents on the fans, the shine really complements it. I would like to try some different iterations of it though. Maybe like do rustic copper and like a darker build or you know just different accents it would be fun the patina like just let the copper do what it wants something else you might notice about this system which is actually a first coming out of ABA, is we now have sleeve bubble high power cables which are available on any sleeve cable kit you can always reach out to us we're happy to do copper in really any configuration we're capable of it too yeah uh one of the beauties of the way that we've done this copper configuration is it actually interfaces with standard uh, liquid cooling fittings. You can see we have uh, bits power in here. So we can really interface it with any number of components like distro panels, blocks, etc. I would love to see copper in 011. David, do you want to talk about what it takes to make a system like this happen? Sure. So for perspective, a normal system will take about two and a half hours. A standard hardline system will take about 13 hours and a copper system will take an additional 12 hours on that. So we get the tubes raw, so we have to clean them, braze and solder them with the 90 degree and 45 degree fittings. We have to wire brush the excess solder, we have to sand the pipes, we have to polish the pipes, and then we have to clear coat the pipes. Thanks for joining us for this uh, copper service overview and second iteration of this system. Uh, we have a Discord now. Find it down in the description. Also, uh, follow us on our socials, like and subscribe. See you next time. PC in the video. Be sure to contact our sales team by emailing sales at aviadrock.com or head to the website by clicking the link within the description below. You can choose from many pre-built options, gaming or workstation based, or use the configurator to build the PC of your dreams. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so you can be notified of future content and give the video a like in support of our channel. You can follow the variety of our social media channels by visiting aviadirect.com forward slash community. And you can also join our discord if you wish to engage in discussions related to custom built PCs.